Hey people, what's going on? <clears throat> Today, I'm going to make a quick review of the new remake of the original Evil Dead movie. Now, I'm going to say this right off the bat, I am a tremendous fan of the original Evil Dead movies. My favorite out of all of them being Evil Dead 2, Dead by Dawn, because that's really the movie where Bruce Campbell displayed how much of a badass he was. And speaking of Bruce Campbell, he's nowhere to be found in this movie. Getting back to it, this is a remake of the original 1981 film The Evil Dead, the first film in the trilogy directed by Sam Raimi. Sam Raimi is really one of my all-time favorite directors and a huge influence on me as a filmmaker. The fact that this guy started out making shoestring budget B-movies, but eventually graduated to directing multi-million dollar Hollywood blockbusters like the Spider-Man movies and the new Wizard of Oz movie, is more than inspirational to me. So the fact that Raimi himself seemed very, very enthusiastic of this remake gave me a little more incentive to actually put some faith in it, since my original reactions to the Red Band trailers were displeased, to put it lightly. So what do I actually think of the movie? Well, it was... meh. That's kind of what I thought of it. It wasn't what I would really call great or even good, but it wasn't terrible or asinine like so many other modern horror remakes. This movie follows the basic premise of the original, but that's about it. And I'm okay with that. Unlike most other people, I like it when remakes or adaptations deviate from the source material to be unique. We have a completely different cast of characters than the original version, and I'll give the movie this much credit, it at least tries to make us care about the protagonists unlike most other modern horror films, but they really don't have enough screen time for us to really get to know them. So the impact of their death scenes isn't really as powerful as it should be. To be fair, the characters from the original Evil Dead were far more bland and uninteresting than these guys, save for Ash. But honestly, if you're gonna if you're going to develop all of these characters, if you're gonna try to make them sympathetic, then you should go all the way with it. But I also thought the atmosphere of this movie was top notch. It's easy to tell that Sam Raimi is involved with this film just by the look alone. This is a great looking movie, that is, whenever the camera work isn't fucking it all up. Which brings me to my first gripe. Some of the scenes in this movie are way too jerky. I am so goddamn sick and tired of modern movies in general that feel the need to shake the shit out of the camera in order to make the movie seem intense and gritty. It works sometimes, but most of the time it's just frustrating as all hell. Because knowing that the gore and makeup effects in this movie are all practical, I would actually like to see said gore and makeup effects, but that can be difficult because at times the camera is too goddamn shaky. I swear to god, all these modern horror films, horror film remakes, feel like they're directed by the same freaking person. Because they have dark cinematography and predilections for excessively shaky camera work. It's annoying, it pisses me off, and I'm fucking sick of it. And if this movie prides itself on having nothing but practical effects, it should take into consideration that I would like to see them without having to pause and freeze frame through my damn screen. Okay, I apologize, I got a little sidetracked there. One thing about the film I forgot to mention is that this is the directorial debut of a guy named Fred Alvarez, who was apparently handpicked hand by Raimi himself to direct the movie. And it's very easy to tell that Alvarez is a fan of the Evil Dead series. 
He's a good director. The direction in this movie is good, but... The biggest problem I have with this film, it was something that was clearly advertised from the start, is that this was supposed to be the start of a serious Evil Dead series. And that right there is the problem. Evil Dead really shouldn't be so serious. Now, I realize that the original movie, whom this movie is a remake of, plays it a lot more straight than the two sequels that followed it, but even it wasn't intended to be taken all that seriously. If you sit through the original Evil Dead and finish watching it, believing that it was intended as a real horror film, then there's something wrong with you. There are so many hilarious and over-the-top moments that are difficult to justify in an overall dark and serious film. I mean, the tree rape, the scene where Ash's girlfriend's head, headless body starts humping him, the scene where Ash starts hitting his girlfriend repeatedly. How can anyone watch this stuff with a serious viewpoint? The secret behind the humor of Evil Dead is that everything you see in these movies is so horrifyingly repulsive, gruesome, and violent that you can't help but react with laughter. It's so fucking ridiculous. But these movies are aware that they are ridiculous, and that's why they work. This movie, though, there is not an ounce of self-awareness to be found. They take the elements and premise of a movie that was not really meant to be taken all that seriously to begin with, and basically try to make it into an ultra-dramatic horror roller coaster. And, in my opinion, it just doesn't work that well. And that's this movie's biggest problem. It plays everything too straight. It never takes time to have fun with itself like other movies did. And there's no Bruce Campbell. But in all fairness, compared to most other remakes that are made, you can tell that this film at least had some effort put into it, and it's not all that bad. If I were to give this movie a rating, I'd probably settle for a 6 out of 10, if at the most. If you are a fan of the Evil Dead series, then it's definitely worth checking out at least once. But I can't really say this movie is great because, once again, it conforms to too many modern horror movie tropes and cliches. If you are a horror fan who's sick to death of modern horror movie BS, then I do not recommend this film. One last thing I wanted to mention. Sam Raimi, I have paid to watch your remake, so give me Evil Dead 4 already. Bring Bruce back. I scratched your back, and now you scratch mine. Later, folks.